Hey guys, my name is Ace Freddy and welcome to this Newbies Guide module. Alright, so in this module, I'm going to be showing you guys how to write a killer product description in three minutes flat. Okay, now I know that sounds like a very unreasonable claim, but once you get into the module, you'll understand how to do things, alright? Um, so anyway, here's what you're going to be learning in this video um, of the bootcamp series. Um, Number one, you're going to be learning what uh, what is the meaning of a product description. Number two, you're going to be learning what the purpose of a product description is. And number three, you're going to be learning how to write a killer product description in three minutes, okay, for a simple product. Now, this is a three-part video series, okay. Um, there's part one for simple products like t-shirts and mugs and stuff. And there's part two for more advanced products um, like dropshipping products and you know, the products that... Um, have a lot of application use and you know you gotta you gotta guide people on how to do things um, I'm gonna, I'll be explaining that more in a second here but um, and then there's a third video which is basically on the psychology and the tips and stuff alright so what is a product description a product description is really just you know the text that you actually use on a page where someone goes to buy a product okay and the purpose of a product description page is um, a good product description explains the prospect or the potential buyer that just uh, visited the website uh, on what you know the product is about and it gives them a solid reason to buy so it's some sort of like a mini uh, a mini sales letter kind of thing okay um, and then also shows them exactly how to buy um, so if you guys have never written sales pages before you don't know what a sales page is do not worry okay um, doesn't require as much skill pretty um, this is this is like what like four sentences or something and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do it so don't worry um, number two um, you, uh, the purpose of a product description page is also to increase the number of conversion rates and decrease the number of card abandonment okay so what happens is a lot of people visit your product page and then they do not buy or sometimes they add something to the card but do not check out um, or sometimes they just don't do anything right so in order to increase the conversion rate which is the probability of people um, actually buying your product and also decreasing card abandonment uh, which is you know people adding something to the cart and actually buying it rather than just abandoning it um, a, gr a great product description page is used for that okay so number three uh, simpler for products that are easily recognizable and advanced for products that are not now um, a t-shirt right it's easily recognizable but if you if you're like selling controllers and stuff um, not controllers but like you know like one of those advanced um, objects or drop shipping items if you're selling any of those advanced products then um, I mean if which aren't really recognizable then that comes under an advanced product and t-shirts and mugs and stuff come, in, uh, come inside a simpler product okay so here's an example of a simple product description page uh, I do know that there was product twice there um, I just don't give a shit because my focus was to help you guys not to correct grammatical errors okay so anyway so this is a simple product right so it says yoga is my therapy it's a t-shirt it's a simple product you see it you know that it's a t-shirt that you gotta wear alright now this however from the bad if, you, if I just showed you this picture and asked you what it is um, there's a there's a big chance that most of your market wouldn't guess it okay so most of you guys wouldn't know what it is all right and that is a, that is exactly why it's classified under the advanced product section because it requires some sort of copyright and um, techniques or some sort of description um, that shows people how it's used and what it's used and more of its application use okay the elements of a good description page now now that you know the difference between simple and advanced in this video I'm gonna be showing you guys how to write simple product descriptions uh, I mean product descriptions for simpler products and here's the elements of that okay um, number one you got the title so hang on let me um, get the pointer here there you go cool and stuff <laughs> but anyway here's the t-shirt okay um, I'm gonna be doing a future video on product images and mock-ups and stuff to show you guys what converts and what doesn't convert right now we're sticking to this part which is the product description part okay so first we have the title it says yoga is my therapy sleeve unisex t-shirt then we have the price then we have the tax included thing um, then we have the size color and quantity chooser um, this is standard um, you need to put this in there because you want people to select the size that they want to buy you know the quantity and also the color and then there's the add to cart button okay now I'm gonna be going more uh, in depth into the add to cart button and 
given you more techniques and strategies that you can use. Um, this is just a basic overview of uh, how things work. Over here you have shipping details, the size guide, and we have the product description here, okay? So, breaking down the components. Number one, the title. So if you guys remember the title, um, this was the title, right? So I want you guys to take a screenshot of this so you can actually remember it um, and you can actually implement this guide faster. So, the title basically is just name your product there, okay? So if you want to give your yoga t-shirt a name, you can uh, put it in there. If you want to give your product a name, a special name, you could put it in there and then let people know, uh, especially for t-shirts, whether it's unisex or you know men or women or anything like that, you know, especially for apparel. For the other products, it really depends. Like if you're selling accessories or something, then you can sort of put that in there if necessary. If it isn't necessary, you don't need to uh, put anything there, okay? Uh, that's just, you know, that's just unnecessary at that point, right? Um, anyway, uh, next we have the chooser. Um, I don't know what to call that, so I call it the chooser. This is where they select the uh, size, color, and quantity. Um, there's not much you can change there, honestly, but a quick tip I'll give you guys is, I've seen a chooser uh, yesterday on a website while I was trying to research stuff. Um, and b what happened was basically they had a white button, okay, and they, the entire background was white, and they had like bluish text with with bolded uh, boundary corners or whatever. It, it is terrible, guys. Let's not change the standard here, okay? Certain things you can change uh, to get better conversions. Certain things, uh, what's working, you can let it work, okay? No need to reinvent the wheel. Um, Use a use a grayish color background. Uh, if you guys want, I'll drop the code of this in the uh, uh, in the, the YouTube description, and then use a black color text on it. Okay, that's that's all you need really. Um, and then the call to action, right? So his thing, guys. This is something called as the isolation effect. Okay, now I told you guys I'm gonna be getting back to the. Um, add to cart button and actually be showing you stuff anyway now look call to action button use a color for the call to action button that hasn't been used anywhere else in the store okay so you you pick that one color that you don't use anywhere on the store and then use that for your call to action button so what happens is if you see the picture over here what stands out what stands out in this picture the the red thing right the red tomato right or I don't even know what that is. I don't know. I think it is a tomato, but I'm not sure. Anyway, um, that th I mean, that that thing stands out, right? And that's what happens. It's like you want your call to action button to stand out, and that is exactly why you're going to be using a different colored button um, on that specific button, so it stands out and pops up, right? The product description on itself can be broken down into a few segments, okay? Um, number one, you have, you got to call your audience out and now don't worry guys, um, just take a screenshot of this so, you know, so you can follow the guide, um, but I'm going to run you through, you know, exactly how, uh, to implement this. Okay. And I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to break down my own product description to show you how uh, we use this. Call your audience out. Okay. So just, just call your audience out. If you're in the gaming niche, you got to say, are you a video gamer? If you're in the health niche, are you into health? If you are in, if you're a vegan, if you're in the vegan niche, are you a vegan? Okay, call your audience out. Number two, three line pitch selling the product. So you gotta keep this very brief, right? Like you have like two to three lines, maybe five lines max. You gotta pitch your offer by then, okay? Especially for the simple product. You gotta pitch your offer, um, and you gotta pitch your offer fast. So you gotta you gotta get a description. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. So don't worry. Features of the features of the products, right? So if you have if you have multiple products on the same page, which some people do, you gotta have features of all that, okay? So you gotta add features. Um, would be preferable to add those in bullets. Um, number four, scarcity. Now this is an optional tactic. Um, if you don't want to use scarcity, you don't have to. But I found that scarcity kind of improves my conversion rates, okay? So I have that whole scarcity element um, on my on my pages. Shipping details. Now, what's funny is I see a lot of product descriptions and um, used by stores, and they don't include shipping details. Okay, so they're basically um, saying here's the product, you know, the product is cool and stuff, 
and then they don't include the shipping details anywhere so for a person to find the shipping details he needs to scroll down all the way to the bottom and then there should be a link in the footer maybe um, and click on that and figure out what the shipping details are how long it'll take for him to get the product now you want to you want to make people um, make a decision as fast as possible right and you want to make it as easy for them as possible um, how do you do that you give them all the details that are necessary uh, to make a decision on the spot right so when you tell them something like you will get your order within the next four weeks or within the next two weeks or within the next nine days depending on how your shipping uh, processes are you're letting them know that if they pay you now they get the product and now there's that whole positive expectancy because they actually um, they actually see themselves uh, using your product or at least possessing it okay which is really good now next you have the return policy okay um, a lot of people don't include this also um, here's the deal you got to include the return policy people got to know people need to know if there are any refunds if there are no refunds or what what kind of plans you got going personally I have refund uh, plans on everything um, because I mean the companies that I use they don't you know uh, if a product is damaged or something like that now I have a whole system on dealing with that right um, but yeah I mean I use return policies generally so I definitely include that in there uh, then you have the size chart if applicable um, a size chart is basically you know a chart where people can see what what size is what and you know figure out what size they gotta buy um, customer reviews this is a really powerful thing you gotta get your social proof up so testimonials anything like that um, for t-shirts and stuff this isn't really um, so you don't want someone to say hey you know my t-shirt was fucking awesome you know you want them to say I got my t-shirt within 10 days and you know stuff like that so that's that's more of the testimonials that you gotta use now I'll shoot another video on that too okay secure payment seal you gotta have a secure payment seal because people want to make sure that you're not going to steal their money or their credit card information okay and this is especially true if you're marketing to uh, people outside the US because a lot of a lot of them are paranoid you know so if you're going with worldwide targeting uh, then secure payment seal uh, is a very good idea um, the whole idea is to make them trust um, trust the fact that they make the right decision because you guys are not Amazon right um, if it was Amazon it has a big brand people trust it uh, if it was uh, eBay people trust it now your store is unheard of the customer never heard of it so you gotta make sure that you win their trust fast and you make them a right offer uh, and you make it very easy for them to take a decision okay now example of a product description now are we here right uh, are we here this is audience call out as I explained okay so do you love yoga so this specific description for was for a yoga thing so do you love yoga okay and if you answered yes this t-shirt is everything you've dreamed of and more feel soft and lightweight with the right amount of stretch so now basically I'm I'm creating a visual effect here okay because now people can see themselves wearing it and feeling the whole softness of the shirt and how it's lightweight and you know how it's stretchable and uh, how it's comfortable and all that stuff right so I'm trying to create that visual effect there um, and then we have the features uh, features in the bullets so 100% this is whatever right so I mean people don't really care about that okay they just like feeling good so do not say this is one of the most comfortable fabric ever okay say something like um, ring spun content uh, ring spun cotton and stuff um, what what this does is this is sort of like one of the scientist things right so if a scientist wearing a white coat comes out and says you know we did X versus Y formula and all that shit you're more likely going to believe what this guy is saying unless his claim is downright outrageous right so um, people if any sort of give them details people sort of tend to uh, trust you more and tend to believe you more so that's a very good um, idea be very specific when you uh, give them the features shipping details yes you should receive your order within the next two to four weeks perfect right guy reading that he's like dude I gotta buy this I'll have it in like two weeks you know um, the, the, the higher the shipping uh, time it takes um, the lower your conversions are going to be obviously but what what this also does for me at least it did was it reduces the refund rates okay uh, exponentially so 
what happens is a lot of people don't include this and then especially drop shippers do this because they don't want their customer to know how long it'll take uh, to get their product because you know because sometimes these guys have e packets sometimes no uh, sometimes it takes a long time to deliver a product so they don't want their customers to know right they're not very transparent and what happens is in most cases the customer waits for like 10 days maybe 15 days and then he starts claiming chargebacks and asking for refunds and stuff very messy okay um, be very transparent you know let them know how long it'll take to get their order and put that in the shipping details page all right or in some cases what we've also tried is say something like get your order within the next nine days or we'll send you twenty dollars okay and that's worked out really well for us well uh, for us as well uh, now that obviously depends on you know, the kind of products you're promoting obviously if you don't print on demand you can do that if you're doing something related to drop shipping then that's very unpredictable so i would not recommend that you actually use some use a guarantee like that but it converts you know it, it converts pretty well um then we have the customer reviews and the size guide now um so guys look that is the end of the uh, part one of these uh, of this video series uh, if you guys want to catch more of my videos and the other two parts uh, you can like this video you can drop a cool and funny comment okay be sarcastic as shit let me know uh, what do you think of this video or would you would you want to watch more videos from me or cat videos i mean i will fuck honestly i think i would prefer cat videos too but anyway guys look cat videos will make you money my videos make you money so anyway um drop a cool and funny comment okay be cool no don't um drop like stupid stupid comments on my, actually matter of fact go ahead you know go right ahead drop some stupid comments i'd love to respond back to you Anyway, subscribe to my channel, okay, if you want to see more cool stuff. And let's make some money. And if you have any questions whatsoever, you can email me at ace at eliteaffiliategroup.com and I will check it and I will reply back to you when I see it, okay? With that said, guys, um, I'll, see you, uh, I'll see you in the next module, all right? Peace.